easy guide for installation of Mare Exploit framework. In this video, you will learn how to install Mare Exploit, configure it, and start it on different operating system in easy way. Mare Exploit 5 comes as a default installed in Kali Linux OS distribution. In case that you don't have the latest version of Mare Exploit, all you have to do is run a specific command in your terminal to get the latest version installed. In my case, I have the latest version of Metasupport framework. Installation of Metasupport on Ubuntu is pretty easy. Ubuntu in normal case doesn't have MSF console installed before with not suitable environment. Actually, Metasploit comes with an IT installer to download, prepare, and install successfully any Linux OS. So in this case, you can run Metasploit in your Ubuntu with just command on in your terminal with root privileges. All you have to do is running the specific command in your terminal. Actually, you can grab the command from the official account of Metasploit framework on GitHub. So first, you have to so do it to your root and then hit enter. By this command you will able to download the latest version of Metasploit and install it on Ubuntu. It takes about 5 minutes to 6 minutes to download and install. Meanwhile, while the download is finished and the installation process is done, let's start Metasploit on Kali Linux. Actually, before you start your Metasploit, what you have to do is configure in Metasploit database. Metasploit database gives tracks of things during your penetration testing, both things like hosts, services, usernames, and map scans results. Actually, the database that uses in Metasploit it depends on PostgreSQL, which is you have to run it before you initialize in your MSF console database. So let's go to Kelly and then prepare it. In case that you're the first time you're running Metasploit, you have to run this command. In my case that I have already configured and everything is working perfectly. So all you have to do is start it in case it's not started. And to stop it, all you have to do is stop it in this one. So after starting the database, all you have to do is running MSF console from your terminal. It takes about one minute to two minutes to be launched successfully. In meanwhile, we can check up if it's installed already in Ubuntu. So the same steps that we have done it in Kali, you can now execute it in Ubuntu. So after installing Metasploit in Ubuntu successfully, you have to configure Metasploit database on Ubuntu to work as expected. So let's go to Ubuntu machine. The first thing that different from Kelly that you have to run the database from user privileges. So it takes one minute to attempt to start a MSF web service and prepare the database. After that, we check that msfdb is a start so after that we run it by typing msf console it takes a couple of minutes to start the successful as a conclusion we have learned how to set up metasploit configure metasploit on different operating system besides preparing an installation of different kind of systems locally and remotely in the next section, we are going to start with conducting Metasploit penetration testings 